गुड मॉर्निंग ओम शांति टुडे इज फर्स्ट फरवरी 2024 बाबा साकार वर्जन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस ऑफ टुडे इज मुरली बाबा सेड स्वीट चिल्ड्रन फॉरगेट व्हाट एवर यू हैव स्टडीड अप टू नाउ गो राइट बैक टू योर चाइल्डहुड for only then you will be able to pass the spiritual study so baba the ocean of knowledge now teaching us the soul the spiritual study by this study we are going to become deities so to imbibe this knowledge baba says uh, go back right to your childhood child means plain slate the slate of the intellect is very plain so that's why baba says to go back means whatever we have studied up till now we have to forget it and we have to also become child a child is innocent whatever we are telling to him he will take it as it is so we have to accept the knowledge whatever baba is telling us then only baba says you will be able to pass this spiritual study because in our intellect there is knowledge of uh, too much knowledge of all scriptures and gurus and all of human beings so they will disturb us they will make us confused <clears throat> that's why we have to go right back to our childhood then question from today's morally what are the signs of the children who have received divine intellects baba makes uh, our intellects divine with the a uh, third eye of eye of knowledge that is called wisdom so with that uh, knowledge we have to Uh, judge ourselves what is right and what is wrong that is called divine intellects so what is the sign baba replies in answer while seeing this old world with their physical eyes they don't see it it is constantly in their intellects that this old world is now about to end that bodies are old and tamopradan and that souls too are tamopradan so why should anyone have love for them the father's heart is connected to the children who have such divine intellects baba has given us knowledge that i am making new world for uh, you that is sato pradhan world this world is tamo pradhan means the power of the soul is uh, now tamo pradhan and that's why the body is also tamo pradhan the nature five elements they are also tamo pradhan and it is now are going to be distracted so why to have attachment for that so baba just changes our consciousness withdraw yourself from all these uh, tamopradan things even from our body and those children who will follow this direction baba says uh, then their children they will be seated on baba's heart throne baba will like those students so that's why baba says ha huh, you whatever i am telling you you study it imbibe it in your intellect only such children can stay in the constant remembrance of the father and can also go ahead in doing services so then only baba says those they they, they will be able to remember baba and in their intellects only baba's knowledge nothing will be there so they can uh, imbibe this knowledge and they can become embodiment of the knowledge and then they also can do the services means they can impart this knowledge to others also nicely and accurately om shanti the spiritual father explains to you sweet as spiritual children limited sanyasis renounce their homes and families because they believe that they will merge into the brahma elements and that is why they believe they should renounce their attraction to the world <coughs> now baba is giving this new knowledge for the new uh, world so baba is changing our consciousness by giving the example of sanyasis what is their main objective that we know baba says for that aim they are just living this physical world that is what they continue to practice they go and stay in solitude they are hath yogis with knowledge of the element they believe that they will merge into the brahma element that is why they renounce their homes and families and end their attachment to them 
they have this interest. <coughs> However, Baba says, huh? because they know their aim and objective is to merge into the Brahma elements. So because they don't know about the supreme power that resides in the Brahma elements. So they have taken Brahma element as God and they want to merge into that element. So that why to connect their intellect, they are leaving their families and uh, everything, whatever they gain in this society, physical things, uh, they are just living to uh, away from the attachment. So they don't have uh, interest in that. Baba says, however, that attachment is not broken instantly. They continue to remember their wives and children, etc. Physically, they leave everything, but mentally, their mind and intellects, they, they will just uh, pull them because there is... Ah, some relations, bondages, karmic accounts are pending with them. So Baba says easily, instantly, they will not forget them. However, you have to forget everything with your intellects of knowledge. Here Baba says you don't have to leave anything. You have to stay uh, among them only in this old world only. And with the intellects, you have to forget everything. So nothing is easily forgotten. For we also... Nothing is easily, we cannot forget everything. You now have this unlimited renunciation. So our renunciation is intellectually. Uh, we are renouncing everything, including our body. So all the sannyasis have remembrance too. But their intellects believe that they will merge into the Brahma element and that they therefore shouldn't have any consciousness of their bodies. That is the path of hut yoga. It is a hut only. Now, with the hut, they are leaving their family and everything. With the hut, they are connecting, trying to connect with the element. But element is not living energy. It is non-living energy. So Baba says they cannot connect their intellect with that element. But it is their hut. So they are doing it. They believe that they will shed their bodies and merge into the Brahma elements. Huh? That is their belief. They don't know how they can go to the land of peace. Why they are doing like that? Because they don't know the path and the way how uh, they can go to the land of peace. You know now that you have to go to your home. Huh? Through Baba only we came to know how, uh, why we have to go home because this is the end of the drama, last episode. And only with the help of Baba we can go because it's a pure energy, uh, sixth element and we, we are impure soul. So without, uh, we become pure, we cannot go home. So without the help of Baba, nobody can go home. When people used to come from abroad, just Baba is making this point very clear, giving the example. When people used to come home from abroad, they understood that they had to come via Bombay. So directly they cannot go home. Now from the foreign land to home means the place of their birth, original. So they have to go via airport, like that. Baba says here also we cannot go directly to our um, new world that is heaven we have to go to via our home and otherwise also we cannot go uh, home directly also so before that we have to come in the soul conscious stage flying stage and then only after leaving this uh, corporeal body we have to go uh, with the subtle body in the subtle region which is formed by Baba in this conference stage there we have to uh, we draw our subtle body also and then we can go with Baba. So directly Baba says you cannot go. <clears throat> you children also now have firm faith. Many people say that your purity is good, that your knowledge is good and that your organization is good. And for Brahma Kumaris they speak like that. The mothers work very hard because they explain tirelessly. Generally in the Yajna majority of mothers and Kumaris is there. So because they serve the people with their mind, body and intellects continuously. That's why Baba says they praise them. They use their bodies, minds and wealth and this is why they are liked. However, 
those people who never have any thoughts of practicing uh, these themselves you know, they will speak baba says but they will not come they will not join they will not do practice like what we are doing baba says scarcely any emerges even the father says that only a handful out of the multi millions emerges and a very few that is the ones who come to you and they will only come to us and take this knowledge and go ahead so however this old world is going to end you know that the father has now come whether you have a vision or not the consci- the conscious says that the unlimited father has come baba says either, uh, either we are having this vision or not but our consciousness has accepted that the unlimited father has come he is with us so you also know that there is just the one father that parlokic father is the ocean of knowledge a lokic father would never be called the ocean of knowledge because he is not full of everything it is the father who comes and gives you children his introduction you know that this old world is now to end so how many times today baba is reminding this we have completed this cycle of 84 births so to whom baba is talking all these things those who are coming in first dynasty and taking maximum 84 births to those children baba is uh, yes telling about this world drama we are now making effort to go back to the land of happiness via the land of peace Uh, the land of happiness means new world heaven uh, we are going we are studying for that only and uh, uh, directly we cannot get first we have to go home because uh, why why we have to go first home because we are going in the pure world soul is in pure we have to make our soul pure that is sato pradhan uh, then only we can go to home only uh, because home is also the place of pure energy so baba makes us uh, the soul pure that's why baba says you have to go through our home first you have to become pure here <clears throat> so we are now making efforts to go back to the land of happiness so i are the land of peace we definitely have to go to the land of peace we then have to come back from there and then again we'll come in in this uh, world on this stage for our part so people are confused by these things all these things are not given in the scriptures that's why whatever uh, knowledge this is new knowledge we are giving to people so they are confused because the, in their intellects the knowledge of the scriptures the guru the human beings is there it is full of that knowledge and this knowledge if we'll say they will be confused when someone dies people think that he has gone to vaikun means paradise but where is paradise only the people of bharat know the name of paradise the paradise words only we know though they say heaven those of other religions don't know it they have just heard the name of and seen pictures of it pictures of paradise that the temples that idols in the temples that they have seen but they have not enjoyed that uh, happiness of paradise that's why their sanskar they don't have so they have seen many temples of the deities just like the dilwala temple it was built at a cost of hundreds of thousands and millions of rupees they continue to build them it is are called vaishnavas why they belong to the dynasty of vishnu and so first dynasty uh, that is uh, golden age they are coming and they will come down so that dynasty continues so they are pure anyway the golden age is called a pure world whereas this is an impure world the comforts of the golden ages don't exist here and yeah, baba says uh, if somebody they believe themselves millionaire but that much that comforts of the golden age they are not here here all the grains etc everything has become tamo pradhan so they are having uh, living in this world with uh, all that uh, uh, wealth but baba says this world is tamo pradhan whatever food we are getting that is also tamo pradhan uh, why because the, uh, just to cope up with the 
demand of the population that uh, fertilizer is used so that quality is not there. That taste is also tamopradhan. When daughters go into trance, they come back saying that they drank subiras, means mango juice, just like mango juice, and that is that it was very delicious, eh? the taste they are having. So they will narrate. Here to Baba says, when people eat food cooked by you, they say that it is very tasty because you make it well. Eh? We are not using garlic, onion, but a simple food of uh, the Brahma Kumaris, that is Brahma Bhojan, and they are going to Madhuban and they are also saying their experience that it, we have enjoyed there. It was a very tasty food also. People are also very tasty like that. They are narrating. Baba says everyone eats to their heart's content. It isn't that it is tasty because you prepare it while in yoga. Baba says no, that is just practice. What Baba told because with that feeling we are preparing, we are daily offering bhog to Baba first and then we will eat. So the, our consciousness is having that feeling that we are preparing the food for Baba and Baba's children. And that feelings are that, that will just, that energy will spread out on the food and that's why that food is very tasty. And Baba says this is the art of preparation of the food and that Baba's children they are having. So some cook very well, there everything is Sato Pradhan and this is why it has a lot of strength. When it becomes Tamo Pradhan, its strength is reduced and then there are disease and sorrow etc. from that. So the very name is the land of sorrow. There is no question of sorrow in the land of happiness. We are going to a place where there is no much happiness that it is called the happiness of heaven and that, that full happiness is there you simply have to become pure and that is also for just this birth versus only one birth you have to leave everything you have to live simple life that that too is for some few years only out of 5000 years so don't think about the future at least become pure now and first of all, think about who it is that is telling you this. Who is telling you all these things to become pure, to imbibe this knowledge? God himself is in front of us as a teacher. So you have to give the introduction of the unlimited father. As a father, he is giving us advice also, daily directions. So we have to tell this. We have to give introduction of father to everybody. You receive the inheritance of happiness from the unlimited father. Even your Lokic fathers remember the Parlokic father and their intellects go up above. You children whose intellects have firm faith feel inside you that you are going to be in this world for only a few more days. This body is like a cell. The soul has also become like a cell. This is called disinterest and because the soul is just like a cell, body is also like cell. That's why uh, Baba says there is no interest. It is called as disinterest. You children now know the drama. The part of the path of devotion has to continue. All are emerged in doing devotion because Baba says their part of devotion is not completed. That's why they are continuing. But Baba says, ah, it's all right, okay, there is no need to dislike it. Sannyasis make people dislike it, but we should, uh, just like they are doing sannyasi, we should not do like that. Means we should not dislike their devotion. They all become unhappy at home. They don't make themselves happy by going away. So no one can go back into liberation. None of those who have come have been able to go back. All are here only. And sannyasi, they believe that we have merged in the Brahma element. But Baba says nobody is merging in the element. Otherwise, there is no existence of soul. Soul is eternal soul. So all are here. They are taking rebirth. Not a single person has gone to the land of the Nirvana or the Brahma element. And nobody can go in the land of Nirvana also. Without Baba is making them pure and taking them because the path also we have forgotten. They think that so and so merged into the Brahma element. Sannyasi, they think. 
all of that is in the scriptures of the path of devotion because it is written in the scriptures they believe the father says whatever there is in all of those scriptures it all belongs to the path of devotion you children are now receiving this knowledge and this is why there is no need for you to study anything because we came everything from our baba we are now having true knowledge that's why baba says for you there is no need to study all this uh, old study all that scriptures however there are some who have the habit of reading novels etc they don't have full knowledge they are called oh, cockerel yani this so baba says ha huh, what is the cockerel yani and the cock he is a male of this uh, that family uh, uh, whose habit is to just uh, do cock cock so baba says just just like him we are just uh, giving this knowledge speaking this knowledge those who are having not clear knowledge those who have not understood that knowledge clearly they will uh, do the service like that only cock only Uh, and they are baba says not only studying the old scriptures but they go to sleep at night reading novels and so what would be their state they are still reading novels before going to bed so before going to bed to read means it will be recorded in the subconscious mind so in the night baba says uh, your consciousness is connected with uh, supreme power to charge your battery battery of the soul and if you will read the, this thing so baba says uh, the, it will not help to get the energy you will not be connected with that supreme energy that's why baba says before going to bed remember baba only so here the father says forget everything you have studied Imar, uh, engage yourself in this spiritual study it is god who is teaching you this and uh, and through it you will become deities for 21 births so you have to forget everything you have studied so far that's why baba says go right back to your childhood means you just clean your slate of intellect consider yourself to be souls although you see everything with those eyes see but don't see and a physical eyes you will naturally see everything whatever outside but baba says with your um, i of my mind that is with the i of this knowledge third i of knowledge you just divert your consciousness that is just to see but not see you have received divine intellect and divine eyes and so you understand that this whole world is old and it is now to end everything here is to turn into a graveyard and so why should you attach your hearts to it you now have to become those who belong to the land of angels baba says everything is now whatever is there it is going to turn into graveyard that huh? means everything is going to be distracted so after the body leaves uh, the soul leaves the body uh, it is called dead body so it will be buried in the graveyard and even though soul is a living energy so without the knowledge of that energy we are living that is also just like to this body is graveyard and we are living that life so what says you now have to become those who belong to the land of angels you are now sitting between the graveyard means kabristan and the land of angels so neither we are in the land of angels now nor in the land of graveyard the land of angel is now being created so you are now sitting in this old world but your intellect yoga has now gone there where in the new world so you are making effort for the new world you are now sitting in the middle in order to become the most elevated human being most elevated human beings means deities no one knows about this most auspicious confluence is they don't even understand the meaning of the auspicious month of the charity or the auspicious year and they celebrate auspicious month every 3 years but what is the significance of this auspicious month they don't know the most auspicious confluence age has a very short duration all the ages are of 1250 years but this is only about of 100 years 
So if you join a university late, you have to make a lot of effort. Baba says in this physical university, if you are joining late, you have to gallop the course. You have to study fast. Here also, this is spiritual university. So if those who are coming late, they have to make more efforts. Remembrance is hardly able to stay in some in some Baba says Maya continues to cause obstacles. That is the reason. So the father explains this old world is going to end. Although the father is sitting here and you are seeing everything, your intellects are aware that all of this is going to end. <clears throat> Nothing will remain. This is an old world and you have disinterest in it in this old world. So all bodily beings are also old. Bodies are old and tamopradhan and souls are tamopradhan. What should we do on seeing such things? None of those will remain, so we have no love for them. The father's heart is touched by the children who remember the father very well and who do service. To those children only, Baba remembers. They also they can be seated on Baba's or thrown. So, however, all our children, any, uh, anyway, Baba says all the children, about 900 or 800 crores of children, they are my children. There are so many children. Baba says not everyone will see him. They don't even know Prajapita Brahma. Now, Baba is telling the secret of the world drama. Baba says, I have come here, but everybody will not see me. And, and they will also know who is Prajapita Brahma. They have heard the name Prajapita Brahma, but they don't know what they would receive from him. There is the temple of uh, to Brahma. They have portrayed with him a beard. However, no one remembers him because you do not receive the inheritance from him. Why they don't remember? Because uh, no re inheritance is received from Brahma. Baba says Brahma's role is very important because he is spiritual father of everybody. Baba makes this new world with the knowledge. So first creation is Brahma. So he is the, he is the uh, spiritual father of all souls of all religions. All religions indirectly with another name they remember. Somebody say Adam, somebody says Adam. And this Abraham, and this Islamism, they also say that this Adam is not different from uh, this uh, Khuda, that is God. So that the energy is the same. They believe, Hinduism, they believe uh, Brahma as a uh, deity and because they don't know about the physical uh, Brahma and as a complete Brahma. The difference they don't know. That is what Baba is uh, just telling today. So Baba says, however, no one remember him because you do not receive the inheritance from him. Souls receive an inheritance from their logic fathers and from the parlokic father. Only from two fathers we are getting. So no one even knows Prajapita Brahma. This is wonderful. Baba says, this is wonderful thing because he is the main, he is the base, first creation as a father who doesn't give you an inheritance. He must be a loki. Baba says, must, uh, must he not? He is a loki, though he is not giving any inheritance. There is a limited inheritance and the unlimited inheritance. A limited father giving limited inheritance and unlimited godfather is giving unlimited inheritance. There is no other inheritance in between. Means the spiritual father, Brahma, from him we are not getting any inheritance, but through him we are getting that is what Baba says. Although he is called Prajapita, there is no inheritance from him. This Alokic father also receives him in inheritance from the Parlokic father. So Brahma is also getting inheritance from Parlokic father Siv Baba. And so how could he give the inheritance? The Parlokic father gives it through him, huh? through Brahma only. So he is the chariot. Why should you remember him? Baba says, huh? Some Baba says you don't remember Brahma also. He himself has to remember that father. So those people think that you consider Brahma to be God. So if there should not be any attachment uh, to Brahma Baba also. That's why Baba is changing the consciousness. So that uh, at the end, 
Krishna that we will not pull Brahma Baba also. So tell them we don't receive the inheritance from him. We receive the inheritance from Shiva Baba. This one is the agent in between. He too is student like us. So there is no question of fear. The father says at this time the whole world is Tamopradhan. You have to become Satopradhan with the power of yoga. You receive limited inheritances from your Lokic fathers. You now have to connect your intellect to the unlimited. The father says, you are not going to receive anything from anyone except the one father, not even from the deities. Baba says, not even deities from deities. If they are here, we are not going to get anything from them also. So at this time, all are tamopradhan. And deities are also in the last but tamopradhan. You receive inheritance from your Lokic fathers anyway. So what do you want from this Lakshmi and Narayana? Those people think that they are important and that they never die. You know, that is the belief in the ocean. So that they never become Tamopradhan for Lakshmi and Narayana. So however, you know that those who were Satopradhan then went into the Tamopradhan stage. You know, the Mamma Baba Brahma Saraswati, they are in the last birth, Lakshmi Narayana. So Sri Krishna is considered to be even more elevated than Lakshmi and Narayana. Uh, why? Because they are a married couple. Who you know, Lakshmi and Narayana? Sri Krishna is a child. Child means pure soul. So Sri Krishna is pure from birth, and this is why there is a lot of praise of Sri Krishna. They rock Sri Krishna in a cradle. They also celebrate uh, celebrate the birthday of Sri Krishna. Why do they not celebrate the birthday of Lakshmi and Narayana? And that that. There is difference in the energy also. Because of not having this knowledge, they have shown Sri Krishna in the copper age. And Sri Krishna only becomes a Narayana that they don't know. That's why Baba says they have taken Sri Krishna in copper age. They say that the knowledge of the Gita was given in the copper age. And this Mahabharat war also took place in the uh, copper age that, that they have shown. That the knowledge of Gita also given that time. So it is so difficult to explain uh, to everyone. Baba says they are having this much of knowledge. So this knowledge, if we are going to explain, it is somewhat difficult. They say that knowledge has continued from time immemorial. However, from when is it time immemorial? Uh, Baba said you ask them. No one knows this. They don't even know when they began worshipping. And this is why they say that they don't know the creator or the beginning, middle, and the end of the world drama. Also, when when uh, the uh, devotion started, that also Baba says they don't know. How that uh, cycle starts, when it starts, that also they don't know. So the beginning of the cycle, middle of the cycle, that is devotion. And this, uh, this is the uh, last scene, that also they don't know. That's why what they are saying, Baba says, because of saying that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years, they speak of time immemorial. They don't know the time or date at all. They don't celebrate the birthday of Lakshmi or Narayana. That is called the darkness of ignorance. There are some of you too who don't understand these things accurately. This is why it is said elephant riders, horse riders and infantry. <clears throat> that is why in the battlefield all three are shown. Elephants, horse riders and infantry. So those who know this knowledge accurately imbibe and become embodiment of it that they are elephant riders. Horse, they are, Baba says, know everything but uh, could not imbibe fully. So they are horse and infantry, they know, uh, know little and get also little. So the alligator are the elephant. At the elephant, sorry. The alligator is big and he completely swallow you. Just as a snake swallow a frog. So but this is a question for elephant rider also. Why is God called the master of the garden, the gardener and boatman? You understand that. At this time, the father comes and takes you across the ocean of poison. He takes you across and this is why you say, take my boat across. So he is boatman. You know now know how you go across. Baba is taking us to the ocean of milk. So there is no question of pain or sorrow there. 
you hear these and tell others that the boatman who takes you takes your boat across tells you children consider yourself to be souls previously you were in the ocean of milk and you have now reached the ocean of poison at first you were deities heaven is the wonder of the world so today also baba is telling about the wonder of the world that baba is establishing so the spiritual wonder of the whole world is heaven just hearing its name you become happy you stay in heaven here they saw the seven wonders in this world they call the taj mahal a wonder baba says but no one can live there it is only for seeing you are becoming the masters of the wonder of the world where we will stay for half an year uh, cycle so the father makes such a wonderful paradise for you to live in not to see but to live in you become multi millionaires for 21 births so you children should be so happy that you are going across to other side the children must have gone to heaven many times you continue to go around this cycle you should make such effort that you go into the new uh, world first so you would not feel like going to an old house baba emphasized that you to have to make the efforts to go to the new world so our attempt should be to go in the first dynasty second dynasty that also somewhat old world so baba is making us into the masters of the wonder of the world so why so we not remember such a father you have to make a lot of efforts see this world but don't see it the father says although i see everything i have the knowledge that i am the traveler for only a few days similarly you to have come here just to play your part so seeing all this uh, giving lecture baba says as i am coming here in my part i am also uh, uh, playing my part likewise you have to also play your part be uh, keeping in the consciousness that i am a traveler nothing belongs to me similarly you to have to come here just to play your part so therefore remove your attachment from it acha to the sweetest below longest and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children with love say namaste to our mother father bab dada मीठे मीठे सिरकी लदे बच्चों प्रति मात पिता बाप दादा का याद प्यार और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते थैंक यू वेरी मच बाबा सो एसेंस फॉर धारणा पॉइंट नंबर वन रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंटली बिजी स्टडिंग दी स्पिरिचुअल स्टडी डू नॉट इंस्टिल एनी बैड हैबिट्स लाइक रीडिंग नॉवेल्स एक्सेट्रा forget whatever you have studied up to now and remember the father second point live in this old world considering yourself to be a guest do not have any love for it see it but don't see it now blessing for today may you be an intense effort maker in the flying stage who flies with the wings of courage and zeal and enthusiasm so way to uh, way to uh, become instant effort maker is to fly in the wing with the wings of courage zeal and enthusiasm so detail explanation baba is giving the two wings of the flying stages are courage and zeal and enthusiasm so to achieve success in any task it is very necessary to have courage and zeal and enthusiasm when there isn't any zeal or enthusiasm there is tiredness and those who are tired cannot be successful so natural so according to the present time you will not be able to reach your destination unless you have the flying stage because the time is very less and our our uh, aim is so high so because the efforts that you have to make is in just this one birth whereas your attainment is not just for sorry is not just for 21 births but for the whole cycle 
So when you have the recognition of this time, uh, Baba says in your awareness, your efforts will automatically become intense. Slogan for today, only those who fulfill everyone's desire are calm and then you know, calm then means the cow that fulfills everyone's desire. So if we are able to give whatever people want, huh, that is subtle or physical things, then we are called calm then. So thank you very much, Baba. You will remember Baba for a minute.